Hey guys, Shauna Jensen here, the artist behind Pop Studio 12 with another video for you of this cute filled mouse done with Pan Pastels and Pastel Pencils. Um, the first part of this video I forgot to record, but I did do a live stream on this. So if you haven't seen it, um, you can see how I block in all the colors and stuff in real time. And I will put a link to that in the description down below. I got this reference photo from, um, you'll see on the left hand side there where my mixing palette is, there's a name there, Gary Chisholm, I think that's how you say it. Um, he is an amazing, amazing wildlife photographer and he was so kind to let me use this photo. You can view his um, all of his pictures on Viewbug and I will also link that down below, but he has just a ton of stuff really, really good. Um, so anyway, so like I said, I did this on the live stream when I blocked in all the basic colors and now I am basically just going on top with my Conti sticks and my Carbothello pastel pencils, just trying to refine everything better, get more detail on top. I really love working in pastels because it is just so easy and fast. It's such a fast medium, but it's really easy to get those details, especially if you're using the pencils on top. And you absolutely don't have to, you can just do a whole painting with the pan pastels, but um, I like to try to make mine as realistic as possible, so that's why I use the, um, the pencils too. And I am working on pastel matte paper. This is a 10 by 10. And also I just want to apologize for the skew of the video. I did record this on my GoPro and it was the first time that I used the um, time lapse feature on it, which is amazing. It saved me like half the time in post processing because it kind of does the work for you, but it makes it funny like this um, wide angle lens or something. So um, anyway, I am starting to work on one berry at a time, just getting in all the detail. Um, so I'm kind of starting with refining the each little um, pulp, I don't know what it's called. Um, just kind of getting each of those done with uh, the shadow color first that's in between to just refine them so I can see better because when you can see like the purple berries on the top, I just very, very roughly put it in about where it's going to be. So when I have, when I use the pencils on top, then I can really map out where each one is going to go. Um, so yeah, I'm just building up. I'm putting the dark color down first and then going up with all kinds of different, um, like blues and purples or like with the reds, I use red, orange, yellow, just, um, layering and layering until I get it to look how I want. The highlights are, I use white a little bit on there, but, um, it kind of mixes with the pastel underneath. So it's not going to be like really, really white. Or sometimes I go back on top with like a light blue because it's obviously not going to be super white. It's going to reflect whatever's around it, which is usually the sky or um, some of the greens or even the other berries around it. Um, so that's what I do there. So after I finish up these berries here, I'm going to move on to the mouse. I generally, when using pastels, I choose a reference photo that has a very blurry background, which means that the photographer is using a shallow depth of field. So only the stuff that is like closest to the camera is going to be like really sharp in detail and in focus. So with this little mouse, because he's how he's sitting on the berries, he's kind of like popping up a little bit just right around his eye and like his whiskers part, not even really his nose, but that is going to be the sharpest part of him. So um, usually when I do these, my pencils are not very sharp. I know a lot of people, they like to get their pencils as like sharp as they can, especially when doing fur. But a lot of this fur is really soft. You just get the suggestion of the fur strokes. It's not, you don't have to have every single one in there. So my pencils aren't very sharp. And what I do, and you can kind of see it, I don't know, this video is sped up pretty quick, but I'm kind of turning the pencil, like I'll do a stroke and I turn it and turn it and turn it and just, that's how I keep my pencils sharp. And I'll even go over this, you'll see with like the soft tools and um, blend it out too, because I don't want it like really, really defined. I mean, you're going to see the fur around there, like the individual strokes, but it's not going to be like 
super sharp. It's going to be more dull. So I kind of go around and um, just smooth it all out. And right here, I am just adding more to the background because there is a lot going on back there. Even though it's blurred, it has probably leaves, different stems. So there's different colors going on back there. So I'm just kind of adding that in, making it more interesting, a little bit more depth to it. And the last thing I'm going to do is add more detail onto the berries and that's about it for this one. So don't forget to check my Zazzle shop soon. I will have this guy after I photograph him, I will have him on a ton of different products over there. I'll leave the link in the description down below and you can go check that out. Get yourself a, a mug, a t-shirt, um, keychain, whatever. There's, I have a lot of different things on there um, that you can get. So yeah. So um, also go check out Gary's view bug page. He is amazing. You will love his photography. So thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Bye.